Hi guys and welcome to another Divi WordPress theme tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well, how's this for a bit of headline text there? That's going to catch people's eyes. <laughs> We're using a Divi a plugin uh, or a plugin called Divi Supreme. And th it's a free plugin, but this is part of the pro version here. But I think it's pretty eye catching and pretty interesting. So let's take a look at it. Go to one of our other pages and recreate this. I'll put the Divi Supreme plugin link below this text. And as for Divi itself, it just keeps getting better and better. If you're making any sort of WordPress site at all, I do suggest you take a look at Divi. It just keeps improving, getting easier to use. And you can also take it for a test run from my affiliate link below this video. So as usual, I'm going to do this on the front end. I'm going to enable Divi's Visual Builder. Once loaded, I'm going to create a new section, a little blue button right here, a regular section. I'm going to make it one row. Here's all Divi's inbuilt modules, the light gray ones. The red ones are from a different plugin. More gray ones from Divi that you get as standard. Now, this is from our Divi Supreme plugin. These blue purple buttons are the ones that you get with it. Like I say, there's a free version with quite a lot of this is free, but some of them are only available in the pro version. And what we're doing today is, I think, just available in the pro, pro version, which is the Supreme glitch text here. So I'm going to open that. And as you can see, it opens up as default. So I'm just going to leave it well. Put my own thing in, I suppose. I don't want that to capital. OK, and we can choose our glitch effect, glitch one. I think glitch two is the same, but just a little bit slower. Let's have a look. Yeah, it sort of goes up and down. Choose whichever one you want. Let's go with that glitch one. Not going to link it. Not going to give it a background. Let's go to our design tab, and I think it's our title text right here. I'm going to leave it as the default font. I'm going to make it bold. And I'm going to capitalize it. I'm going to centralize it. I'm going to make it a bit bigger. Take that text size up. Fills the screen there. Now, color wise. I don't know if we can give it there we go if you take the opacity down a bit it changes what the actual sequence is going to do there take the color down a little bit what if we turn it to blue the color down a little bit yeah that's pretty uh effective okay and just add a bit of box shadow perhaps or text shadow i guess i should say We'll look which one looks best. That's okay. There it is, as simple as that. And let's just add a gradient background to this section here. Give a bit of light gray at the top. 
and a slightly different gray at the bottom. I want it light. There we go. Perhaps darken that first one down a little bit. Something like that. There we go. Job done. And I'm going to drag that up just so it's right at the top there. Save my changes. Purple button, hit the save. And when we got the check mark, let's exit the visual builder. And there you have it. There's a pretty eye catching little intro title. Uh, if you want to get people's eyes on a project, that's not a bad way to do it. And like I say, that's the Divi Supreme plugin. You can download it from a link below. It is a premium plugin. There is a free version, but this is done with the actual premium version there. So I hope you've enjoyed that. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you're interested in web development, take a look down below. We've got some great free courses down there as well as some premium courses with some huge discounts for our YouTube subscribers. So do check it out. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.